so I'm going to share with you my absolutely most awesomely favorite cartridge for the Cricut Personal Cutting System. Um, I have an expression, but I found that the most functional cartridge that I have is this. It's the Storybook cartridge. Um, it's considered a font cartridge, which means that it has a full font. Um, and it also has, um, so it has 1 through 0, um, and then A through Z, as well as some extras. Um, and it also has creative features, so instead of just um, cutting one A out, depending on what else you hit, you can hit up to seven different A's, um, which means a lot more functionality than your basic um, die cutting system. And uh, it's got some really interesting options. So um, I will go over those in a few minutes. But right now, I am going to show you Storybook in the box. When you get the Storybook cartridge, or any Cricut cartridge for that matter, um, except for the one series you can't get, and it's called the Solutions Cartridges, those don't come in a box. They come in a blister pack. So the first thing you want to do if you're like me, when you get the Cricut cartridge, is you'll want to tear it open, and it's got like little magnetized, um, a little magnetized flap, so it doesn't like fall out. Open it up, get a book, you get a keyboard overlay, you get a plastic blister pack sort of thing with the cartridge and you get a warranty slash hey this is how you do things in English, French, Spanish I think there's one in Italian and German they cover all the bases of ProboCraft anyway um, whoops, this is what the storybook cartridge looks like see this? this is the back um, they're pretty small. You just pop that into the front of your machine. And when you do that, and the machine loads, it'll tell you that you've got Storybook. And, and as you'll notice, it says green font, because it's considered a font cartridge. However, Storybook is way more versatile than that. Um, this is the overlay. As you can see, you put this over the little keypad. Over here, it's got all the different um, options as well as real dial size, paper saver, shift and shift lock, and then there's the creative features. And over here it's got the uh, the fun keys that you know everyone has, including paper size, load, space, backspace, clear display. And then it's got all the numbers and letters along with the the the, the one in the lower right hand corner is the letter just as you cut it out just push the button that's what will come out but if you push the shift key you'll get one of these little gray things up here it's really cool because there's a lot of functionality um, but one of the drawbacks is that you could conceivably think that you know all about your cartridge and then you buy another cartridge because you think oh well this cartridge doesn't have a bird I need a bird and then, you know, you look later and find out if you would have pushed shadow, shift, F, you would have gotten a bird. Um, <laughs> so that's one thing I will say to be mindful of when you're buying Cricut cartridges. Um, you want to, at least I like to really look at what I'm buying and figure out what it can cut and figure out... Uh, what I might need it for. Um, and then of course I learn a few more things about them once I use them. But um, each one of these, they call them the Cricut Bibles, cartridge Bibles, and it shows you, um, I pulled out a bunch, here's the, uh, I pulled out a bunch of foreign language pages because it was really hard to open up the book. Things kept like cracking or there were a couple of pages that looked like they were going to rip. So I, I, 
I ripped out a bunch of stuff so that um, I could move this freely. It wasn't as restricted. And when you open it up, it's got a table of contents. And then it's got um, information about the designer, as well as um, explanations of real dial, dial size. And each uh, cartridge has a different real dial size. Um, and real dial size um, Um, it says, the character shown in red is the key height character. All other characters will cut out in proportion to this letter unless real dial size is pressed. If real dial size is pressed, all characters will be sized according to the actual dial size you selected. So here are two examples. This is with it off. This is with it on. Um, next they have usually um, an explanation of the features of the specific cartridge and then a couple of projects. This one lets you make a princess wand and crown, which is kind of cool. Um, and then it shows you about the icon gallery. This is actually where the magic happens. Um, for example, A. For A, you'll notice that if you just hit A, you get this letter. If you hit Shift A, you get this flower. If you turn on the tall border creative feature, you get this A. If you push shift with that on, you get that. It's pretty self-explanatory once you look at it. There's an example of all of them. And each, um, like for example, here's some butterflies on B, or C. Here's a bird on the D. One of the other really cool things about this is that if you're uh, matting photos, you can cut it out here. Or there's an owl. Owls are really cool. Some people believe, or some people have thought that the um, the cartridge with camping is the only one that has the owl, but no, it's not. Storybook has an owl. Um, there's a lot of flowers with this, a lot of vines. I love this scallop circle right there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I like the different kinds of cutouts, like this. That's a cool cutout. Um, and then, like, this frame is really a really girly frame right there. But it's a great cartridge. Um, tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of functionality with this cartridge. I mean, look at this. This is a, you could put like a frame, like you could put a picture here in that, you know, make a big one. That would be a great gift for somebody, don't you think? Um, here's another butterfly. Look at that. And I actually cut out this butterfly once and I made him really small and I kind of flipped up the, uh, the wings. That was kind of cool. Totally wasn't expecting that. Um, what else? But I, you know, and another thing that I really like about this cartridge is that it doesn't just have numbers, letters. I like this. You can make your own um, die cut paper. See with that. Um, it has like question marks. It's got um brackets, which are really hot right now. It's got crowns, different types of crowns, so you can have like a princess party for somebody. Um, it's got some, these are called marquees, but again, I think they'd make great mats. And uh, once upon a time, and on once upon a time, you can cut it out once upon a time, and then you could actually cut out with the shift um, upon a, upon a Happily Ever After, same deal. A Wish Came True, thank you. Birthday Girl, Birthday Boy. And the two from... And then at the end it says, you know, for all in-depth information about using your Cricut cutting system, refer to the user's manual included. Um, and then it tells you, you know, you can go to the website or whatever. But it was really cool. Um, this is just a core of the storybook cartridge. Hope you've enjoyed it.
storybook. So, um, I got this for like around $55 when I got my machine. Um, I would say it's definitely worth it for the functionality, but then again, I really, 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 really like it. Um, you might think you don't like it. So, um, but definitely I think, I think this is one of those cartridges where if you have a Cricut and you want functionality, you'll pick this up. It's a great cartridge. It's still in demand. It's still in demand. Um, it's a good deal. Rock on. One thumb up. Two thumbs up. I'll give it two thumbs up. Cricut Storybook cartridge.